east or west, home is best, as the saying goes. Although for these Imo state indigenes, south may be the direction on their minds. Few weeks after their arrival from South Africa, in the wake of the xenophobic attacks on Nigerians and other nationals. These 91 returnees represent the highest number among all the states in the country. They are formally received by the Imo state governor, Emeka Ihedioha, and other top government functionaries. Some of the returnees narrate their sad experiences, but perhaps the most striking is that of Mrs. Blessing Emmanuel, who had lived in South Africa for over 20 years, but lost her husband and almost everything else during the attacks. I lost my husband there during this xenophobic attack. I got two children that are grown up. Um, the way my husband, my two children, they came with me there here. So there's no one to assist. It was so terrible. Some of the women there here now, their children, they are no more going to school. They were coming to churches to attack people. So it's so terrible. We were doing business in Boise. They burnt our machine. We do furniture and all food store in third decorium. So when they came on the street, start killing and asking people and start burning shops. When they burnt our shop, now I realize with my common sense it's better for me to go home and start afresh. The governor promises to support and reintegrate the returnees into the society after their data has been captured by an inter-ministerial committee that will be set up. I must thank for the federal government for the initiative they've taken and um, thank uh, Mr. Oscar Onyem of Airpeace for uh, bailing us out at this point in time uh, from this uh, by the humanitarian uh, gesture that he showed. Thank you. Yeah, the government is, is working, we're setting up um, an interministerial committee to see how basically we can help them to resettle. And while the committee's action is being awaited, they will receive some relief materials and some financial assistance. Uh, they will be receiving ameliorations today and also food, food stuff and also be engaged in a verification exercise that will harmonize the contact list which we have received from the federal government. And that list, from that list, we will be able to engage on the long-term process which the committee will give their own communique and recommendations in issues regarding grant access, uh, empowerment, skill and acquisition intervention, and et cetera, et cetera. Hopefully the state government will carry through its promise of rehabilitating the returnees and banish the ghosts of their horrifying experiences in South Africa.